So, you want to play the latest DirectX 11 games and you don't have the budget for the latest DirectX 11 graphics card. So this is going to be an integrated graphics showdown. We are going to be taking a look at the performance of last generation Intel HD graphics on Sandy Bridge processors, the new DX11 HD graphics on Intel Ivy Bridge processors, and comparing that to what's available from the competition in the form of an APU from AMD, such as the A83870K. We're gonna take a look at a couple games, Crisis and Dirt 3, one of which is an older DX9 game and one of which is a newer DirectX 11 game, and find out if your budget for your computer does not include a new graphics card, how do you choose which integrated graphics solution to go with? Now let me preface these results by sort of disclaiming that when it comes to performance with a dedicated graphics card, the Ivy Bridge processor yeah, yeah, kind of walks all over the AMD solution, to put it sort of mildly. However, when it comes down to integrated graphics performance, if you're looking for um, a low-cost solution that is going to at least allow you to play games a little bit at you know 720p or lower resolutions, the 3870K just decimates not only the last generation Sandy Bridge, so we've got a 2600K running Intel HD 3000 graphics, but also the lower end Ivy Bridge, so we're using HD 2500 graphics on the 3450, as well as the higher end Ivy Bridge using the Intel HD 4000 graphics. I mean, we're talking like minimum frame rates at 720p medium details in crisis that are equal to the average frame rates of any of the competing Intel solutions and average FPS that is, well, 50% higher. So yeah, it's not even a contest. In Dirt 3 at 720p with low details, we run into pretty much the same scenario where the 3870 just, I mean, I can't, I can't uh, emphasize this enough, outperforms all the competing solutions by a sizable margin. Once again, minimum frame rates in line with the average frame rates of the closest Intel solution. Once again, Ivy Bridge performs a lot better in pretty much every other scenario. And then if you throw a dedicated graphics card at it, then it wins in every scenario. But if you're going to run integrated graphics, an APU is sort of looking like the way to go. Here's another interesting tidbit though. Ivy Bridge comes with QuickSync. So that means you can use the HD graphics to convert video. When you compare this to a variety of other solutions, including CUDA with a GTX 680, including a bunch of CPU only results, you can see that the 3770K with QuickSync is by far faster than any other solution, including 2500 QuickSync, or, or HD 4000 QuickSync is faster than 2500 and HD 3000 QuickSync by a significant margin. This is converting a one gig file to an iPhone 4 compatible format and faster than any CPU by itself, even an eight core FX8150. And then we have to go all the way down to the very end to find the 3870 in terms of media transcoding. So there are definitely applications for the Intel HD graphics. And remember guys, you can use the Intel HD graphics even if you have a dedicated graphics card by using Lucid Virtue MVP. So what you do is you set up the software and it makes it so that you can use the HD graphics for what they're good at, and that is transcoding video, pretty much. And then you use your dedicated graphics card for what it is good for, and that is generally for gaming. So thank you for checking out our integrated graphics showdown. I think the conclusion is fairly clear. If you're looking for a better integrated graphics performance, so you know, you're building a you know, inexpensive machine for a young kid, they're gonna play a few games, last generation games, but you want them to have the best gaming experience on a budget, go with an AMD APU. If you're looking for the better all around performer and you're willing to compromise on the integrated graphics performance, then the new Ivy Bridge processor is definitely the way to go. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more reviews, tutorials, overviews of products, and all kinds of great stuff like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.